Uh, I felt great uh, during the game. You know, uh, the first couple of minutes, you know, had to catch my wind a little bit. But uh, other than that, I felt good. You know, um, had a lot of time to rest, you know, to recover. So my body's feeling good. Trey, it was important to get off to a fast start, you know, coming off after missing the last game and stuff like that. Did you want to kind of make a statement early and, and just make sure that you were back and, and that they knew it? Um, uh, not so much. You know, um, <clears throat> my whole thing, I was just going to let the game come to me, you know, because. Uh, you know, before I was out on um, the team, we was, had a lot of chemistry. You know, I don't want to, you know, come in and just mess that up. But um, I took the shots that was open, you know, and the hard work that I've been putting in the gym finally came around. You know, I hit the shot, so that's a plus. Tim, just how physical was it out there? It looked like a lot of elbows. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we know going in, um, playing Loyola every year, it's always one of the most physical games on the schedule. Um, you know, they're big men, big, strong, and, and athletic. So we, we knew it was going to be a fight. We even wrote on the board before the game that, that this is going to be a war. And so that's the mentality we had to take into the game. We're going to find you get it. You're always there. The numbers were almost a double-double tonight. Great satisfaction from, from you know you played a good game, but the numbers kind of solidified to the people who maybe well, he, no, he, should, he should have had a double-double. Because two offensive rebounds at the free throw line. So he should have had a double-double. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's always great to have that. But, you know, just a... Uh, as a team, you know, my mindset has always been focused on the team winning and you know, putting myself in a position to, to help my teammates and just uh, create success for this team. And um, a victory for me is the ultimate goal, and that, that's all I'm looking for. Trey, there's been a lot of uh, talk about concussions this year, primarily because of what happened in the NFL and even with the Browns. You know, you've had a couple of them. Um, and how difficult is it to come back from them? I mean, when that happened in that game, how long was it before, you know, the headaches went, went away and the vision was good? Uh, just a day or two, you know. Uh, I'm kind of used to them now, you know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, you know, I just got to, like I said, I got to let my body rest. You know, I can't force anything. I, I got to be patient with that. You know, you can't, you really got to take that serious. So all I did was, you know, um, see the doctor, you know, and wait till she cleared me, you know. Um, and just let my head, you know, rest as much as possible. Did you lobby the doctors and the coaches to let you play the other night? I mean, I noticed you're out there in uniform shooting that ball before the game. Nah, um, it was actually it was in the air, you know. Um, if if it was real needed for me to be out there, then I probably would have been out there. But um, it was no no issue as far as that. So you know, I just took it slow. Well, there's two things to add to that. One, they have created a mouthpiece which would absorb some of the pain if he gets hit in the head. Again. The next thing, if he gets hit in the head again, he's going to have to wear a helmet out. Look at a football player. <laughs> Anything else for the student athletes? Anton, how much, uh, you know, you've actually played a lot of minutes this year. Uh, is it getting any easier now? I mean, is it is it about as difficult as it was when the season started? Are you feeling more comfortable, less? I mean, yeah. That you're in league? It, um, I'm way more comfortable um, when Coach called my name. It's like, Around the time coach called my name, I'm already had my uh, my warm up off and everything. I already, I'm, I beat him to the table before he even said my name. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to the rotation. So I'm I'm more comfortable coming in now. Trey, who's the best shooter? You or Jay Mo? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it's, fun, it's, it's funny you say that though, because we we compete every day. You know, um, we always we all have our days. Though, you know, I can't I can't really I can't really say who's the best. You know, we all we all shoot the lights out, but um, you know, but if that money on the line, it's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's questionable. <laughs> Put an asterisk by that. Right, three point horse, none of that inside stuff. Three point horse. You know, where you know where you got to style it and everything. Who went? Oh, Trey all day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's me. <laughs> TK all day. <laughs> I do dunks. <laughs> <laughs> we do inside. Are you guys enjoying the ride as much as last year's team? <laughs> uh, we having a lot of fun, but at the same time, we we humble on ourselves. You know, we can't 
can't look at games. We can't look over teams and stuff like that. We got to stay consistent, you know, and uh, stay humble. And if we keep doing that and believing in each other, you know, we're going to have a lot of success down the road. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I got a question for the two vets. Um, it's no state secret where the next game is at. Mm -hmm. And it's a big, big, big game every year. I mean, how much are you looking forward to going up to Indianapolis again? We'll, we'll start with you, Trent. Um, you know, we we definitely looking forward to that, you know, uh, just to redeem ourselves. You know, um, this is a totally different team from last year. You know, um, I feel like our chemistry and everything and uh, these new guys that came in is helping us a lot. You know, um, they're going to see a whole different Cleveland State team. And, you know, we ready. We just um, about to get prepared, and, you know, um, and see where it goes from there. Um, I think for us, the good thing with our coaching staff is always keeping us focused on, on the next game. I'm not trying to get ahead of ourselves. So. Not, that's a nice game. You know, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general, we, we have good preparation um, for every game. But, you know, this one, it, it means something to us just because of things that have happened in the past. And um, it's a great environment to play in. Um, the arena itself is, has historical value to it. You know, the fans that they have there, um, it's just a great basketball environment. So it's always fun. Always fun to play them and play there, so it'll be exciting.